Hi, this is Ken Adams, and welcome to this edition of The Valley View. And this week, I'm joined by Eric John Kaiser, a singer-songwriter who uh, is originally from France, Paris. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I've got to ask, what made you move from Paris, France, to Oregon? <laughs> the weather. <laughs> the weather! <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Bonjour. Um, I met a girl from Portland who was on vacation in Paris. So I lived all my life in, in Paris and fell in love with this girl from Portland and uh, followed her uh, over uh, to Portland just after finishing my, my first uh, full-length album, actually, and ended up in Portland uh, in August 2006. I, th I, thought, I thought there was the ocean in Portland at first, and the only thing I knew was pink martini. Oh. Because they're pretty popular in France, and I knew they were from Portland, and uh, Dandy Warhols too, and um, then move moved to Portland and started a whole new adventure. That's why I ended up I ended up uh, on the West Coast and in, in Oregon, and it's been a great adventure ever since. Yeah. Well, that is that is quite a life changing <laughs> story. <laughs> it is, yeah. Now, are you Love still with the girlfriend? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no, uh, no. No. I'm happily married now, but it it's. Uh, to somebody else, but it was it was uh, it, love makes you do funny things. I came for love and stayed for the music. Oh, okay. So you <laughs> found good music here. Oh yeah, wonderful music. I've always um, been um, influenced and and um, really liked a lot of American singer songwriters and a lot of American music or English bands like the Stones or Led Zeppelin to do kind of American influenced music. Um, kind of the blues style then. Yes, and also singer-songwriters. I mean, there's definitely a, a culture of, of telling stories with guitars, which is not as, as predominant in France at all. So I, I really like that that type of, of you know, Way of expressing yourself. Yes, and the heritage, definitely. And just being part of that uh, on an everyday basis, meeting a lot of great singer-songwriters, and I host a sh showcase to every, every Monday, uh, in Portland, and I meet a lot of local and out-of-state songwriters that play there. And it's it's really part of the you know the culture, and I, I really I really like that. And Portland's a great place to make uh, records too. It's a bit the opposed. To, I like people that say they like wine culture. And a lot of people in Oregon want to go to France to study wine uh, because wine's been in for millenniums <laughs> in France. But so coming over here. Is kind of the opposite for that. That's for, such for, for music, yeah. Music. I mean that type of music, obviously. Right. But and there are cities like you know Portland has a, has has a strong identity. But there's I've been luck, fortunate to play in Louisiana too. That has a very strong musical identity and and a French I, connection. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know New York. I've played in New York and L.A. and San Francisco and all all these cities. Even Seattle with the grunge era. All these cities have influence you know modern rock pop or or folk music in it in its own way and a lot of music that i love is is in the states so it uh, it's, it's just great to, to so learn all that well yeah it was kind of interesting what you said though about in france it's it's not the stories aren't don't come through like that guitar kind of in music so how do they do stories there that are, that differ oh um wow i, I don't it, it's hard to I don't know first if I have all the knowledge on, on French music, but I think that the thing which is unique, I think, about American music is this mix between more of a Celtic influence with the melodies, come more mm -hmm. from maybe Ireland, and, you know, England, and then all the blues that, that comes, uh, you know, f from uh, from African music in a way, and the how, how it kind of mixed. Uh, in France, is not that, that way of doing it. It's, in general, again, I think, the text is very important. I think the meaning in France and the music, you need the text to be predominant. Uh, um, the lyrics, it's very lyrics based. Oriented. Yes. yes. Yeah, the, you know, Brassens or Jacques Brel or Edith Piaf and all that, the lyrics are always very important. doesn't mean that like Bob Dylan, it's not important, the lyrics, but there's different art forms in the States, I think in folk, where it's also melodies and energy. And in France, you really need to understand. The, I think it's more of a lit, lit literary country, France. France, that? yes. I think I, so. I would think yes. That would probably. <laughs> 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 and this is more emotional or kind of tinged to it. 
I mean, because like blues music is it can be very emotional type, you know, and and that's how I see it anyway. Yeah, totally. Yeah. What reaches you, uh -huh. you know, that's really what it's about. And I mean, different people are going to be uh, captured by different kinds uh -huh. of music. And sometimes it, it's from memory, you know, like. Uh -huh. I know that growing up, you know, you hear certain tunes and, and it, yeah, you have true. good memories to go along with those tunes. And so that's part of it. But then you seem to enjoy American music. So where were you listening to it in France? Um, well, there were different. I remember as a kid at night, I had this little uh, alarm clock that had a radio too. And I would listen to this, this show around 10 o'clock at night. They would play a lot of American tunes. So that was kind of, the f that was before the web unfortunately i'm not that young anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that was before the web so that was that was the kind of first access then there were tapes and then my first high school band my, my buddy played guitar were big fans of of american music and led zeppelin so a lot of vinyl stuff and the, the, the time yeah and it was great well yeah <laughs> but there's a lot of europeans that since second world war and you know the gis that brought in i mean First World War jazz was brought by by the American soldiers. Second World War is rock and roll more and blues and all that. But you, I don't know if a lot of people realize that, but we get a lot of American culture in Europe or in France, where here you get maybe a bit less, you know, um, French culture or European culture, except that people don't want to look for it. But it, when you grow up in France, you get bombarded by American culture, which is. Some of it's great, some others is not always like great, but it's you're just in always in contact with all the series you know on t v you have them in France that are dubbed, a lot of the movies are dubbed, and things like that, so you get a lot of you just live and grow up with a lot of American culture too well, and a lot of blues musicians um made big impacts in Europe oh, definitely, in yeah. the 60s and in early 70s. And I can think of like Sonny Boy Williamson uh -huh. playing with the Yardbirds, uh -huh. you know, and, and um, Howlin' Wolf going over there. Uh -huh. And somebody that um, was in a movie, and it was Screamin' Jay Hawkins, uh -huh. who was a, a, a big s singer over there in Europe, but I'd never heard of him. Oh, well. And so, you know, there there is this cross-pollinization going on. Oh, the, well, the Stones were totally fascinated by blues at the beginning right and, uh, yeah and even you're talking about cream and all that and they were or they're, they're totally th they were getting blues music and, and started playing that yeah and well like one of my favorite musicians actually is Jimi Hendrix and like late in his career he was doing a lot of blues and jazz stuff and that has just been released by his family after his death and oh. some of that stuff is really amazing oh, wow. and so uh, hip-hop is huge too in France Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's enormous, and it's a second market for for music in the world. Uh, hip hop, the French market, is a second market in the world, and it's it's like thirty years old now. And the same thing it started with DJs going to New York, French DJs getting vinyls, bringing them back, and playing. And now there's a whole rap scene where where uh, they they exist as a French identity, but it's all based on American music. And I just saw. Um, on uh, TV last week that uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce did two nights at, at the Stade de France, which is a huge 100,000 stadium in Paris. Two nights. Two nights. And not what single word in French. It's pretty crazy if you <laughs> really think about it. Everything was sang in English. Well, so, so what is your music about? H how do you get your inspiration? Oh. Um, so I like to write stories with my song, so, and I usually they're stories about situations I, I've lived or people I met. Um, my first album was more based on stories uh, about Paris. It's called L'Odyssée. Then my second album I did when I'm after moving to Portland. So those are more uh, stories and people I met in Portland. And then the second one, the third one called Outside It's America, Dehors c'est l'Amérique in French, is more about stories on the road. And this next album, which I'm releasing October 25th, is called Idaho because I went to isolate myself in an old 100-years-old uh, hotel called the Riverside Inn in Lava Hot Springs, you know, Pocatello. Oh. And, um, and I wrote songs over there. And uh, so there's songs about, a few songs about Idaho. And there's some songs about uh, Portland and, and a friend that I lost, a really good friend, uh, last year. So... 
Um, that there's some songs about love, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a popular theme in yes, music, doesn't know. it? I wonder if some somebody someday is going to count all the songs, the love songs that exist. I mean, if, if you start with the Beatles, there's probably a good hundred at least. Well, just from the Beatles, yeah. <laughs> just from the Beatles, yeah. So, um, but you you traveled the West to kind of explore uh, the West a little bit. Yes, I love it, and I know <laughs> I know I tell. That's, I tell some people here, like, I really like Idaho and those old open spaces, and I really like Montana, too, and, you know, even, even Oregon, and, and my American friends here always make fun of me because I like typical, like, American stuff, like diners, or things like that. Diners? Because they're, they're just, I didn't grow up around those things. It's like big open highways and spaces. Right. It's very hard to find. I mean, you don't have them in, in France. There's not that much space. So it's just for me, it's it's being on the road and driving and having that. America is such a, a country based on being on the road too. There's something really magical about that. That that I don't know. It inspires me and 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 again, it goes back to to. I'm still pinching myself to just play in like in Boise sometimes and play my French songs in a place like Boise. So what kind of stories did you gather while you were traveling the West? Uh, have the, I have a song, Idaho, which is a song, for example, about uh, somebody who's driving, driving with a tank full of hope and just to try and forget about the relationship. And he's trying to drive as far as he can to get to forgiveness, which is an illusion, but there's, that's definitely by with those big highways. That's inspired. Uh, I have another song called I Stay in My Lane, too, which talks <laughs> about that, where... I, when you're on the highway, I was, I'm kind of a safe driver, I guess, in a way. Oh, I'm you stay in the slow lane and just... Not necessarily slow, I just stay in my lane, you know. I, I drive so much, too, that, you know, going from gig to gig, that it's just like, well, whatever. And, but I see some people swirling around, and I just imagine... Th th I, s I start with expressions, usually, that I write down as... And the first came to me was like, I'm the type of guy that stays in his lane. And then the song's about what if I got out of that lane one day and kind of explore it. So it was, I'm, that song's really about more imagining a fictional character with that, the kind of thing. Um, what other songs? I have a song about Portland too, uh, which is one of my favorite sports in Portland is to go out and hit the town and, and go listen to some local music. So I wrote a song about about that, like, and I called it Treasure Hunt, and it's about going in all these different clubs where for five bucks or ten bucks you can see all these incredible local bands, and uh, and uh, there's some of them which have become good friends, so I put them in the song. But that that's another concept. Um, I have a song called Life on the Ground, which is going to be on the new album, which is about uh, uh, free advice to women for taking the metro in Paris. Because oh. the social codes are very different, and uh, I talked to some friends and, and to my wife about, like she was telling me in New York, if somebody looks at you, if say you're on you're on your own, you're you're a lady taking the metro on your own, and somebody looks at you and you're kind of you have to look back to show that okay, don't mess with me, I'm here. In Paris, it's the total opposite, because if you start looking at the guy, he's probably going to think, oh wow, she's interested in me. <laughs> so it's just like kind of advice like that cultural advice it's just and again that's an example of like a story that just came up because after talking about it I thought oh that'd be fun to make a song out of it well just <laughs> my wife should have talked to you then before she went to France <laughs> <laughs> the summer before I met her she went to France and she got freaked out in the metro and never got out she really? ended up yeah she ended up getting on a train and ending up in Chartres Whoa! Yeah, so that's not even the suburbs. <laughs> no, no, she just <laughs> she just kind of freaked out. Well, they have an art cathedral down there. Oh yeah, that's well, she was an art history major. Oh, so. poor thing. Yes. Well, anyway, we're going to um, we're going to listen to some of your music now, Great. and I want to thank folks for watching Valley View. But before uh, we end the show, we're going to listen to some music from Eric John Kaiser. Hey guys. Bonjour, it's Eric John Kaiser. Uh, I'm originally from Paris, France. I live in Portland now. Here to celebrate the release of my fourth album, Idaho, which will be released October 25th, and I'll be doing a show in Salem at Boone's Treasury on the Wednesday, October 29th.
a CD release show with a friend coming all the way from France too, called Alex Tukur. So it's going to be a fun evening of music. Hope to see you guys there. Uh, I'm going to play you a song called Tandem. Uh, and imagine that being in a relationship is like riding a tandem bike. So you got to be two to pedal. You got to be two to agree go the same direction. And if somebody gets off the bike, there's no more relationship. So we're going to go on a little tandem bike ride in Oregon. You know, a song called Tandem I wrote. <laughs> Tu me contais l'amour comme un tour de tandem Pédaler Ça m'irait, ça m'irait Demande au à l'ouest, au désert de l'est de Ben Dans l'Oregon On irait, on irait Mais rien n'est éternel Pas de forever Alors en roue, la vie est bien trop courte Pour laisser la place au doux Si tu m'amenais goûter au neige éternel de Saint-Hélène Déguster un baiser glacé Au pas gastronomique avec du panoramique sur les plaines Tenue correcte, exigée si un jour, un jour tu descendais Un pneu crevé, un mauvais poème Je surlinerai le chemin fait Sur la carte abîmée de nos vies passées L'autoroute des balais Impudique On m'attrait On m'attrait Avec nos jumelles Le cul de toutes ces grosses demoiselles Impudique à souhait S'il vous plaît Et je pleurerai Un petit peu quand même C'est jamais facile De se tromper et je reprendrai ma vie de bohème On s'est bien amusé, de rien regretter I've been fortunate to travel around the States a bit and um, play in a lot of different places. And uh, one of my favorite places I've, I've been uh, is, uh, is uh, New Orleans in Louisiana. So I'm going to play you a, a song for that city. Tune up my guitar at the same time. So it's a song you might know, but you might not know the French version. It's an old blues classic. Donner 
guys thanks so much for listening uh this is a new song called idaho from my album idaho which i wrote in idaho uh, and uh we'll be released october 25th and i'm doing a, a cd release show at boone's treasury on wednesday october 29th at 8 p.m with my friend alex Tuku from france will be uh, opening the evening and there's no cover and also I have uh, a Kickstarter going on for a few more days if you guys want to help out in funding the, the rest of the album and get a uh, whole bunch of goodies like pre-ordered album. I also have flash drives that look like a USB baguette and with all my music on it. So flashback drives that look like a baguette. Thanks so much and I uh, hope to see you October 29th. So here's my song, I know. It's about this guy driving on a highway try to forget somebody until until he runs out of gas. When they don't 
mon volant paumé au fin fond d'Idaho. Je perds le nord pour retrouver mon sud et mon horizon s'éclaircit crescendo avec mon réservoir rempli d'espoir. Ici ou ailleurs, je trouverai bien l'oubli. Et c'est de ligne droite qui me hante. J'ai comme cette terre qui attend la pluie. C'est avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour n'aura pas suffi. Avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour n'aura pas suffi. Je m'accroche à mon road trip et j'avance. de l'asphalte qui chante je sympathise avec mon ennui c'est avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour n'aura pas suffi avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour n'aura pas suffi c'est avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour. C'est avec toi que j'ai appris que l'amour n'aura pas suffi. Thank you. 